Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television with Esther Galoum. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, marking the glorious October the 6th anniversary. His Majesty the King wished the Egyptian leader health and happiness and his brotherly people further progress and prosperity. In the cable, His Majesty the King commended the historic deep-rooted relations bonding the two brotherly countries and peoples. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, today sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, marking the glorious October the 6th anniversary. His Royal Highness wished the Egyptian leader health and happiness and his brotherly people further progress and prosperity. In the cable, His Royal Highness commended the strong fraternal relations bonding the two countries and peoples. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable of congratulations to the Egyptian Prime Minister Ibrahim Mahlab on this glorious national occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa left the Philippines today after a visit lasting several days. During the visit, His Royal Highness held talks with the Philippine President Benigno Aquino, Vice President Jajoma Binay, and a number of senior state officials on the best ways to activate bilateral economic, trade and political cooperation and coordinate stances at international gatherings. They also focused on optimising the existing joint agreements in order to bolster bilateral cooperation in various fields, particularly investment. The talks also touched upon ways of strengthening cooperation in training, health and food security in order to support the government's policies in these key areas. The visit reflects His Royal Highness's keenness to continue the current strategy of boosting cooperation with East Asian countries and building on the achievements already made. His Royal Highness inspected the Guard of Honour assembled to salute him. He was seen off at the airport by the Philippine Foreign Secretary El Valdar Rosario and senior presidential palace officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Amman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, today sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, marking the glorious October the 6th anniversary. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the Egyptian leader health and happiness and his brotherly people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the West Asia Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, as well as a number of sports officials who participated in the 17th Asian Games in the South Korean city of Incheon. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the Bahraini delegation, expressing sincere appreciation for the sporting achievements made by Bahrain's athletes at the Games. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that this historic achievements are the result of His Majesty the King's unwavering support of the sports and youth movement in Bahrain. He praised the essential role played by members of the delegation at the Asian Games and also their concerted efforts, which resulted in a number of medals. His Highness expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the delegation, wishing them further success in future events. This year at the 17th Asian Games, Bahrain's national team won 18 medals in all and its highest tally of gold medals in the history of the Kingdom's participation in the Games.
On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, honoured Bahraini athletes for their outstanding tally of medals at the 17th Asian Games held recently in Incheon, South Korea. Present were the Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Asghar, BOC board member Sheikh Hayat bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa, and Dr. Khalid Al Alawi the president of the Bahrain Handball Association, Ali Issa, as well as board members of the Bahrain Athletics and Handball Associations. Sheikh Khalid conveyed sincere greetings and appreciation from His Majesty King Hamid to the players and the technical and administration members of Bahrain's delegation to the Games. He expressed pride in the confidence conferred upon him by His Majesty the King in allowing him to honour Bahraini athletes on his behalf. He hailed His Majesty the King's constant interest in Bahraini sport and his keenness to provide every support to Bahraini athletes to help them succeed at regional and international sports gatherings. He added that the kind royal gesture of honouring the athletes and handball players would motivate them to redouble their efforts to achieve even more honours for the kingdom. The royal gesture included awarding grants of $50,000 to gold medalists, $30,000 to silver medalists and $10,000 to bronze medalists. Additionally, trainers received awards of $10,000. His Highness Sheikh Khalid noted that Bahrain's landmark results at the 17th Asian Games were the fruitful result of the leadership support of the youth and sports movement and the constant follow-up and directives of the SCYS chairman and BOC president Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. He wished Bahraini athletes every success in future competitions and championships. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid also inspected the headquarters of the Bahrain Athletics Association, which is currently under construction. The complex, which spans an area of 5,000 square metres, includes a number of buildings, including hostels and administration building, alongside subsidiary establishments and car parking. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stressed that the complex will benefit Bahrain's sports movement, which has witnessed remarkable progress during the reign of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the parties involved in undertaking this massive project, which requires skill and dedication, and urged them to spare no effort in working towards timely completion of the complex. His Highness also praised the Ministry of Works in sustaining Bahraini infrastructure and the General Organisation of Youth and Sports for their constant support of the Kingdom's youth and sports movement in the Kingdom. Visitors flocked to Bahrain in their thousands during the Eid al Adha holiday, with visitors coming mainly through the King Fahad Causeway, which links Bahrain with Saudi Arabia. King Fahad Causeway management said they recorded one of the highest numbers of visitors over the first two Eid days of the Eid holiday. Visitors arriving at Bahrain International Airport also showed an increase, thanks to the new liberalised visa regulations, which encouraged more international tourists to include Bahrain in their itineraries. Bahrain launched the Eid holiday celebrations with a packed programme of events across the country. Cultural and musical performances are a particular feature this year. Celebrations started with a concert by the Moroccan singer Asma Lim Limnawa, organised by the Ministry of Culture at the Cultural Hall. Also lined up are performances by the local Mohammed bin Faris band, the Ta'al Shabab and the Galali folk band. The festival will also feature six renowned Arab and international musical acts, including classic orchestral compositions, songs from the golden age of Arabic music, modern pop and folk music, and crossover artists. 
The rush of visitors also generated a business boost, as shopping malls and hotels were packed with visitors. After years of steady growth, Bahrain's tourism industry is on the cusp of a dramatic upturn, with government plans to invest heavily in travel and tourism infrastructure. The large number of visitors to the kingdom bears testimony to the successful tourism plans and programmes adopted by Bahrain, which has been and will remain an oasis of security and stability.